What's up everyone, Giant Opinion, some absolutely breaking MLB news. Nolan Arenado, the star, is going to St. Louis. This is crazy. Um, there's been some rumors now circulating about Nolan being traded, and for good reason, man. The NL West, it is getting better by the day. You look at the Padres, I mean, the Rockies aren't going to compete against them or the Dodgers, so they have superstars, and they can get a lot of value for them. Now, the Cardinals are going to be parting away with mid-tier prospects, is what re is what is reported. And that's because Nolan Arenado can opt out of his contract after this season. So this could be a rental, or it could be a long-term uh, security, kind of. Because Nolan Arenado, if he does opt uh, his player option, or he exercises his player option, he is six more years in St. Louis. But he can opt out, and then he's a free agent. So that's why the Cardinals aren't parting ways with their number two and number one prospects or anything. They're going to be middle ground guys, and honestly, it's not that bad, or that's actually really good for the Cardinals, because um, I'm going to assume he stays. A lot of Cardinals players love playing in St. Louis. They're a pretty good organization, uh, and this is coming from a Giants fan, but for the Rockies now, you're losing your star player. I've, I've personally loved Nolan Arenado, and I'm a Giants fan. He always kills us, but man, I respect his game. I still think he's the best third baseman in all of baseball, and I, I don't buy into the it's all Coors Field argument, to be completely honest. He's a good player all around. He's an amazing fielder. He can swing the bat. He's power. And this Cardinals team, they're going to be super competitive now. But for the Rockies, you're going to be getting some solid prospects in return. Now, they're not going to be top 100 guys, but they're still going to be serviceable. And in Colorado, they can make prospects work, especially hitting prospects because, yeah, there is there is a Coors Field effect to some degree. It definitely helps, but you still can't discredit the player necessarily because he's still going to put the bat on the ball and make good enough contact. But this Rockies team, they're going to go into rebuild mode. Now, I did see a tweet that they are looking to extend Trevor Story long term, so he is probably going to be... Uh, the guy that they give the Arenado contract to, and he's not going to command that much, but he's going to command a lot of money. And he's going to be a building block for the future, because the Rockies, as I said, they're not winning anything, just like my Giants aren't winning anything, and just like the Diamondbacks aren't winning anything. It's between the Dodgers and the Padres for at least the next two years, and then then there will be some more competition. Um, so from the Cardinals' perspective, I love the trade. And by the way, the Rockies are sending over $50 million to pay for a Nolan Arenado's contract, and that is if he... Uh, picks up his player option so that's huge because you're saving a lot of money and then you can go sign some more free agents or extend some guys for the cardinals they're the favorites to win the nl central now it was getting weaker anyways this division is wide open for them i don't see the cubs competing even though they made a few moves here and there uh, pirates i don't see that either brewers no no reds are the one piece of competition but i still see the cardinals better overall um this probably means that they're not going to sign back Colton Wong, so teams can now fully pursue him, knowing that he's not returning to St. Louis. Tommy Edmonds can step in for him, and man, this Cardinals team, they could go far. Nolan Arenado could be that boost that they needed, but if you're a Rockies fan, stay calm. You still have a future. You still have some good players on your team, for sure. Now, you're not getting top-end guys, but you're getting guys that will help you, or you can trade away to get some... Uh, sort of younger established talent in Colorado. So let me know what you guys think. I'll update the comments with the exact trade details because it's been about an hour later and there still hasn't really been any player names thrown out there. So I'll be sure to update it. But let me know what you guys think. Check out my podcast, by the way. Link it down below. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.